This is more an idea of a house than a real house. So you'll quickly notice that there are no staircases leading up to the first floor and other basic functions are missing. But the main features are the ones I've concentrated on. What's really important in a house? I want it to be a place where the inhabitants genuinely feel at home, uh, where restlessness disappears and comfort takes its place. I want a feeling of a gentle, welcoming atmosphere so that anybody invited into the house uh, gets the feeling of this being a good place. Uh, and I want all the flexibility of in between. So it's a place that's good to be alone, but it's also good to fill. It can go from quiet contemplation to a great big party. It's uh, open, yet it's private. It's intimate, yet it's flexible. All these contrasts that I always work with uh, being taken into the house. Uh, I have a theme, I have a number of secret titles to work from. One of them is Alice in Wonderland. That's because I want to play with the adventure. I want the freedom of her world, uh, constantly being pulled down to earth by IMM Cologne. It is a commercial fair, but the, the conflict between Alice and IMM keep this exciting for me. Uh, I'm playing with scale, as Alice would, so instead of uh, mummy and daddy's double bed, there's uh, 20 metres of bed in Dutt's house. There might even be 30 metres of bed, an awful lot of bed, and you don't just lie in the bed, you do whatever you want in the bed. You might eat in the bed, you might read in the bed, you are relaxed when you relax, not pretend relaxed, like most of us are in most furniture. I've made a lot of furniture that's uh, very interesting to look at, but not particularly comfortable. So I'm taking the most comfortable piece of furniture I know in the world, the bed, my favorite piece of furniture, and I'm using it as madly as I possibly can. My second favorite piece of furniture is the table. So I'm giving myself in this house endless amounts of table space. I like tools, filling the house with tools. If you want to fix something, if you want to build something, if you want to cook something, if you want to invent something, the tools to do it are going to be there. Otherwise, it's low tech. So it's not a place for um, great surround sound. It's not a place for all sorts of, uh, for a big cinema or a flat screen television or a built-in vacuum cleaner or an elevator. It's a place where you use your body to reach something where you may have your all your Mac products or your PC products, of course, but they're flexible, they come with you, they do not dominate the space, they're not built in. Comfort is built into the house.